All right, let's meet today's Cricket Bat Challenger. And today we have here Jo Ann Wilson. Hello, Jo, Hi, who it? runs the Grassmere Gingerbread Shop in the heart of the Lake District with her husband, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Welcome to the show. Now, tell us about the uh, Grassmere Gingerbread Shop there. How long have you been going? Uh, well, it's been going 154 years. Wow. Uh, it started off by Sarah Nelson, who started making her special gingerbread for the Victorian tourists. And mm. it's, it's, it's exactly the same as it is today. Same recipe and everything. Same recipe, recipe. Is that what makes your gingerbread so special, then, separate from the others, do you think? It's, it's very different. It's a very different mm -hmm. sort of gingerbread, and the recipe is a secret and they're clocked away in the bank. Oh, very nice indeed. And what's your way of eating it then? Um, I like it with fresh coffee. I think mm -hmm. that's nice. Slightly warm, fresh coffee. And uh, Andrew, next to you. Andrew, how do you, how do you like eating your gingerbread then? <laughs> Straight, with a glass of whiskey. With a glass of whiskey, you see. That's it. Some people have different ways of doing it, don't they? Um, and do you ever actually use gingerbread in other ways? Because, yes, we normally have it when a slice to go with our tea or something like that. What about incorporating it into other recipes, other dishes? Yeah, I have done that before as well. Um, especially the crumbs that come off the trays. That's super in making ice cream and also mm. great for cheesecake bases, things like that. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm sure you've got a bit of your famous gingerbread in your bag. Will you come across afterwards, yep. Joanne, and have a bit of a taste? Uh, all right, then. We're looking forward to this, and I'm, sh I'm sure the chefs are too, but for the moment, from the Grassmere Gingerbread Shop, thank you very much, thank Joanne! <laughs> Boys, what are you going to do with this little lot? I don't know, you know all about this gingerbread, though. I do. I live there. I, I know all about years. this gingerbread as well. Aren't? Okay. Well, and it's, it's grassmere, not grassmere. Okay. That's oh, right. Grassmere, not grassmere. Grassmere. You see, you got you got stuck into it it's too, didn't you? Grassmere. It's ah, grassmere. Yeah. It is. Ah, here we are. Look, look, it's just beautiful. Look at, look at that. Now, probably you get all oh, just, just oh, love it. I just want a cup of coffee. Actually, I'll ask a cup of tea with that. Glass whiskey. But, uh, right? what, about, whiskey uh, do? what will our chefs do with it? Let's find out from Chef Phil Vickery. Oh, is it me first? Yeah. All yeah, oh, right. Okay. Um, let's do quite like um, what Joe said. So we'll make a bit of a cheesecake with some on the base and some on the top and some inside. Mm -hmm. We'll then roast the bananas in the oven with some mint and brown sugar and put gingerbread crumbs on top of there. Serve that mm. clotted cream. Chocolate. Uh, we'll probably dip. Um, strawberries in melted chocolate and some more crumbs on those as well and put mm -hmm. it in the freezer. And the, what's that? That's crumbs. That's actually the crumbs from the... Oh, uh, we just eat the rest of it, don't we? Yeah. Just want to eat it. Yeah. Just oh, well, have a bit of a cream, yeah. of Just whiskey. slop it on the top. Yeah. Glass of whiskey. whiskey. I'll give you whiskey. Sounds very, very nice indeed. But uh, will our audience go for that? They'll be having to press the old red button. What about you? I think I take some bananas, slice them and cut them in the crumbs. So fry bananas with gingerbread crumbs and some clotted cream. I think it would be nice to do a crumble, sort of leave those sort of flaky, a uh, little bit of lemon juice going onto the bananas, a little bit of sugar, heavy crust on that. I think it would be nice to do a little chocolate fondue as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, dipping the gingerbread bits in, the strawberries, the banana, and maybe spice up the, uh, the fondue with some, with some ginger to try and bring it into that. So mm. chocolate and ginger fondue. What's a banana? Lovely. Banana. A banana. No, it's... it's the same as a grass mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Vickery. OK, oh, it I certainly can... is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, red button for Phil. Green uh, for Paul. The choice is yours. Will you all pick up your keypads? Because it's time <coughs> to vote now. OK, Phil let's loves see. the quickie bag. Phil loves the quickie bag. Loves Paul it. adores the quickie bag. Not today. Bag. <laughs> depends, on, depends whether you love or adore it. OK, computer, oh, sort this out. Who's won today's 10-minute oh. quickie challenge? It's a green Paul oh. ranking. Hey. Hey. Paul, your 10 minutes cooking time starts now. Right, well, Paul, um, what can we do for you, Shane? I would like you to, uh, an evening egg wash, and if we cut a banana lengthwise, we'll, we'll pan it and then we'll fry it. No problem. Phil, can you make me like a sticky toffee pudding caramel yes, sauce, please? Yes, I can. Yeah, and would you like to do one of your, your desserts that yes, you were talking yes, about? Which one would you like to do? Whatever you want me to do, Paul. Um, well, do... why not you do the banana? The banana? thing that yep. you were talking about, baked banana, banana or whatever. Banana. And your dip, mm. chocolate, uh, yep. strawberries in chocolate. Do you yeah? need chocolate, though? I, of course, I'm making a fondue. He wasn't listening. He wasn't listening, was he? No, I'm sorry, Nick. So you oh, talked about good. five years in the Lake District. Where, 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 where were you? What were you doing in, up there? I was in Grasmere. Uh-huh. Actually, in Grasmere. Gra Grasmere. Did okay, you steal that from <laughs> OK. Yeah, I worked there in a hotel. I was there for five years. Grasmere, uh -huh. is that where they grew all the bananas? I went. It keeps boy, telling me I said banana man. wrong. And Joanne was saying that, you know, they've been there for a hundred odd years, and so you probably popped into their no, shop several times. No, can I times. actually make it uh, Actually, Joe, Joe knows this. I didn't actually go in there once in my five years. It's a tiny little village. I feel deeply embarrassed. But I did go back and make a film. Yeah. And um, then we did some writing together. So oh, there you go. Very nice. But yeah. the thing is, it's got a shelf life, hasn't it? Joe, how long's the shelf life? 
Uh, not long because actually Andrew as well. <laughs> <laughs> he, ma he makes it. And the recipe, the recipe, yeah, the recipe. You won't tell him on. The, ro the recipe is it in a bank vault somewhere then, Joe? It is. Yeah, it's in the bank in Ambleside in the Lake District, and I, I don't know the recipe either. You have no idea. No. Rubbish. Oh, okay, we're not going to ask you. We're not going to get you to reveal that. To wouldn't us. tell me, would you? Yeah. So you were talking. Uh, Phil was talking to you about shelf life. What? What? It actually, how long do you keep it for? You wouldn't really keep it more than a week. Because, right, because it's a traditional recipe, it's got no additives or preservatives in it, so it, it's Would you want it for more than a week with a pack like that? Because it's perfect, isn't it? Three little bars, you just sort of snap it and away, and away you go. Very All right, then. If there's a few bits left, I'll pass it out amongst you, all right? But there's a, literally, we're talking about a few bits. A little nibble and pass it around. All right, love. <laughs> uh, what are you doing there, Mr Rankin? Mm? Every time I go looking for something, Phil Vickery's nicked it. I went to the fridge to get the cream, Phil had it. He's a lot quicker than me. Mm. Um, where's, it, where's the crumbs gone? I've got them here, oh, Phil. Hey, can I speak some of them around to me? Absolutely. Please. Mm. Let's get and, them in uh, there. Honey. Actually, before you do that, before you do that, I'm going to put some honey on there as well. I'll stick them all on. So I've got my bananas on here. Starting a little bit of butter, lemon juice, brown <laughs> sugar going into that. I'm just going to... I'm not going to take them very far at all. This is going to be like your ultimate quick crumble because nothing needs to cook very much, yeah? Gosh, what you got like? Where's the rest of the butter? Paul's, okay. Paul's got it. The butter there. <laughs> it's gone from Phil to me <laughs> Um, now, you know, we sometimes do crumbles on ready, steady cook with things like that. Is this, is this a sin, cutting up your shortbread like that? <laughs> 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 I'll have to go to confession after this. So, I, I think we just need yeah. to warm the bananas mm -hmm. with a little bit of the lemon juice, the brown sugar. Yeah. Um, are you are you panning those bananas? I'm going to panne the bananas now, Chef, Ainsley. as we speak. And I've just used a little bit of egg. What we're trying to do is create a little bit of creaminess. <coughs> and ideally, normally, when you're panning something, you do flour, egg and breadcrumb. I'm going straight from the egg into our lovely crumbs here. And then hopefully that's all going to cling on. Then we're just going to pan fry that off ever so gently, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. That's it. That's and we've got six minutes to go. That's gorgeous. All right, now, Chef. Now, what happened when I cut, cut up those... Um, those gingerbreads, they don't look crumbly enough to me. So what I'm going to do, you could use a rolling pin for something like this, but I think it's nice if you, you just them up a bit. just sort of crush them so that they look like crumbs. And it's not working, so if it all just looked the other way... <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. it'll work. It'll work. All right, we've got a, got a few things I, in I there. You, found, you want, found something, We don't chef. want fine crumbs for this. OK. How long have we got? OK, lovely. Coming up for about, all oh, five minutes, Phil. OK, cool. Mm. Here we are. You've got some lovely crumbs here. I don't want fine crumbs. I want crisp, you know. Oh, you want crunchy because crumbs? Because I, like I don't like a crumble when it's, when it's sort of dusty. He's so miserable, isn't he? Oh, uh, it's all right. Red you know what he's like. like. I like it when it's sort of chunky and biscuity, a bit like that. That's all right, I like chef. my crumble. So that'll be you a lovely like crunchy and biscuity. I'm just turning the heat down here, gentlemen. Please keep an eye on this, because we do have a quickie question from one of our studio hey, can we go over there? Can I just show you these quickly? Yeah, of course you can. Here I've got um, strawberries dipped in chocolate and the, and the gingerbread crumbs. and whack them in the freezer for 10 minutes to chill out. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be really Really nice. Mmm, sound good, didn't it, eh? OK, what about our quickie question? Today is from Claire Dandy, who's uh, from Nottingham. Hi, yes, Claire, how are you doing? How are you? Yeah, well, I'm not too bad, actually. Picked up one or two ideas, do you think? Yes, yeah, definitely. Lovely, yes. and uh, the idea of some of those lovely gingerbread crumbs is a bit nice, isn't it? Mm, Strawberries, yeah. chocolate. <laughs> oh, your question is a little bit different. What would you like to ask them? Um, I'd like to know, how do you do tea smoked, smoked salmon fillets? Oh, that's an easy one. I didn't, so I didn't hear that. What was that? How do you do tea smoked? Oh, of course. A absolute <laughs> master. I'm a master at that sort of thing, you know. Uh, there's various ways you can do it. I mean, first, uh, you can either marinate or not marinate your product, yeah? Which is sort of salt, sugar, sort of, sort of marinade, briny sort of thing. And then for, for, the, for the tea smoke, ideally, what you need is, is the sugar, which is the carbohydrate, which will burn. Uh, and then the tea in there. So it's a hot wok, uh, very hot wok, high flame underneath, a little bit tin foil, and then add your sugar and your tea, cover it up. And what happens, the sugar starts to burn, caramelize, it sort of s gets the tea all smoking. That creates the smoke. So you've got, to, you maybe put your, your salmon in one of those steaming baskets, cover it up, and or just put it on a rack and a lid on top. And it's, that's a hot smoke, so that will kind of cook it as well, you know? So it's there's lots of good books out there. And you, you don't have to just stick with salmon doing that method, do you, Paul? You oh no, goodness, no! Scallops are great. Most fish are great. Chicken's wonderful with that sort of thing. Duck is another one. Yeah. Duck uh, would anything be a one. unusual you might have smoked, Phil? Um, <laughs>
<laughs> He's a bad boy, that Phil Bedrick. <laughs> um, I used to smoke butter. Mm -hmm. I used to smoke garlic yes. and, um, so weird, and dude. oil. Smoked oil we used to use quite a lot of. And I worked in Northern Italy for five years and we used to use a lot of smoked garlic. And so I learned quite a bit of that over there. there you yeah. go. All these different types of yep. smoking methods. Yep. Has it inspired you? What would you like to get home and smoke then? Uh, salmon. Salmon. Big fish salmon. Well, go, yes. really do try that. Definitely. And if you want to, remember, don't forget to line the base of your wok yep. with the foil first, otherwise it will stick to it like glue. And if you want to loosen it a little bit, you can put some rice in there, <laughs> a bit of, you know, just a couple of handfuls of uncooked rice with the tea and uh, the sugar too. Good luck to you, though, OK? All right, let's give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Nice question. We get that information. Well done. OK. Mm. Right, what do, what OK, we've got crumbling there, we've got our oh, bananas um, cooking those. here. Yeah, I'm These to help are you. looking good, OK. Um, right, these sauces, that yeah. butterscotch sauce the you've got here. Yeah, uh, stroke sticky top sauce, uh -huh. the Paul doesn't like. Can, can I get another banana, cos uh, you used up my last banana, Phil? No, no it's... Does I need a banana for my fondue? I'm helping you. Does it, anyone go shopping today? Anyone <laughs> get a banana? <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. I've got nothing to dip in the fondue. Uh, well, you've got your lovely ginger uh, bread. Robert, if you get some the bread there quickly, we'll toast the bread. We'll... OK, and we'll yeah, yeah, make maybe some... a little, little bit. OK, just under right. two minutes to go. Let's keep this going now, guys. Mm. All right. Um, where's that? What so do you there's all there, sorts of chef? oranges we can put in the fondue. Oranges yes, are certainly. Great. I'll yeah, give yeah. you some oranges. Give me some oranges. No problem at all. Mm. OK. Mm. Mm -hmm. So fondue, I think it's making a comeback. You know, you can, you know, you can make some of your own marshmallows to put in there. Little bits of toasted croissant mm. or brioche is a lovely thing. Okay. Um, We're coming up to the minute music any moment now, the, boys. The, the other thing I like about fondue, it's kind of romantic. You know, One minute to go. Thing, you know. I got cream left. I got you still. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> OK, guys, keep this going now. We can get um, all these oranges out and everything. Phil, whatever happened to that sticky non-toffee sauce? It's there. It's got? there. It's not... To is that toffee? Is that what you call toffee? No. <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to get a right oh, old misery today? Right? Right? <laughs> I, I wouldn't pick my bananas. <laughs> bananas. 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 <laughs> <that> toffee sauce. <laughs> huh? What about you? Oh, oh lovely. the way I speak. <laughs> I think... About 30 seconds now, gentlemen. I think he's jealous. Let's get this I think he's jealous. Oh, is it? Is this for my bananas? Lovely, lovely. bananas. Is this for my bananas? Yes, it's okay, your bananas. OK, 20 seconds. Huh? Get them going now. Come on, boys. I, Phil, I... Th what? It, it just... I don't have another plate to put my bananas on. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, lovely, lovely. Joanne, come and join us, please. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Great. Uh, well, we've taken your crumbs from Grasmere, is that right? <laughs> Grasmere. And, uh, and we certainly try to do as much justice to them as possible. With the strawberries and the chocolate, we've got it wrapped around the bananas there. We've also got a little bit of a fondue mm. dip going on here and the crumble. So, mm. what would you like to try? Go on, Joe, get stuck in, go. Uh, first, the crumble, I think. Go on, then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which, which dessert did you choose first? It was mine. Yeah. When she burns her mouth, <laughs> she can't <laughs> to it. took over at my quickie bag and made three desserts on one plate, cos he has filled the pud, you see. So he told me to do he it. He couldn't stop that it. That is Shut up, boys. That's what do you think, Is that amazing? It's far about a bit in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> have you? No, you have you? Have you? Oh, <laughs> lovely. Well, you've got all sorts of things to try here, and I think we should invite our guests back on, ladies and gentlemen, because they're, I'm sure, got a bit of a sweet tooth, too. Please welcome back yeah. Nat Parker and Chris Timothy. Yeah. 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 Come on, guys, come yeah. in here and have a look at the time. Looking forward oh, to it. Nice. Hey, we're going to tuck into our little uh, sweet tea, but uh, oh, if you'd like any of the recipes, incredible. please do check out our website, oh, bbc.co.uk forward slash food. From all of these uh, gnashes here, gnashes here, I'd really said he could. Take care. Oh, See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>